Hi everyone, this is Amanda from 40 Plus and Fantastic. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, today I'm going to share with you how I do my skincare routine. Mm. In case you guys are wondering, three things though in particular that um, I'm, really, I'm really adamant about. And the first thing being, uh, wash your face every single night. I don't care how tired you are. I don't care if you're like, uh, I, it's, I, it's just overnight, it's just for a few hours, it's not a big deal. My mom has installed in me, since I kid you not, I was probably like 10, 11 years old, to wash my face every single night. Uh, has now just become a habit. As a matter of fact, if I don't do it, I feel really weird. Like, there's issues and it feels kind of greasy on my skin and it never fails the next day I do have a breakout hmm, go figure right because that uh, makeup is just sitting in those pores the other thing that happens with that is um, if you leave mascara on your eyes uh, it has a tendency to pull out your lashes a little bit easier and it kind of breaks them down so if you do want to keep those beautiful lashes growing and be voluptuous super important please 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 remove your makeup especially eye makeup okay uh, the second thing is I huge exfoliator to exfoliate your skin and I will show you later in the video exactly what I use it's like this little handheld I don't know, device that um, I use three times a week there's a way you want to kind of start it before you get up to a higher level I am actually up to like a 10 minute level I do it three minutes or three times a week and it has made such a huge difference in my skin so the exfoliating process is taking off the dead layer of skin on top of your face as we get older that slows down so that's where you're gonna get that dull skin um, I love it after I'm done my skin kind of like glows a little bit more right uh, which I absolutely adore uh, the third thing is moisturize your skin friends uh, so sorry about my hair it's in my face um, it's so 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 important okay uh, my mom that's another thing my mother did ex instill in me when I was younger I said I probably started when I was about mm, 12 years old probably even earlier than that when I started washing my face uh, what's funny is I have now installed these things into my daughter, uh, Faith, and she is 13, but she started washing her face every night and started applying moisturizer every night. It has now become a habit for her, which is wonderful, and I hope she follows this through the rest of her life. That said, moisturizing, once again, is extremely important for your skin. It keeps it nice and plump. Um, it seems to help keep those wrinkles a little bit at bay, okay, um, because they are moisturized and plump a little bit. Super, super important. Uh, the rest of the video, I'm going to kind of just go into some of the other things that I tend to use, um, just like how I wash my face and the stuff I use to moisturize. The last thing that I'm going to just touch on is... Um, I do do the a little bit of Botox, right? I know, big, huge, ooh. Uh, there's a few of us, and actually there is probably a lot of us that do do it, and we don't really want to admit that we do it. Um, I, at first, was like, I've been doing it um, at least two and a half years now, um, and you can tell that mine's starting to wear off a little bit. Mine only lasts for like three to four months, I have a extremely high metabolism, so I kind of blow through it really fast. I, that said, the more you do do it, which technically you only do it about three times a year, um, the more you do do it, it actually does kind of help soften those lines. I have a very big like scowl line. I don't know if you can kind of see it, right? Here, let's get a little closer. So um, I do have that scowl line going, and um, with a little bit of uh, the Botox, she kind of helps, you know, kind of relax that a little bit. She does do a little bit by my eyes. Uh, the gal that I do go to is absolutely amazing. She um, is located here in Phoenix off of Cave Creek. If you message me, I can give you some information. Um, 
there I am. I'm going a little bit farther than I really wanted to on this Botox thing. I really wanted to keep that as a different video, but I am hoping to see if I can bring you guys along with me the next um, time I go in so you can kind of get an idea of what exactly is involved in something like that. Um, I remember at one point I used to think it was like kind of, uh, why would you get that done? And now I do it and I'm absolutely really love it. So one of the other videos I'm going to do is about the pros and cons of doing it because um, there is some. Okay, plain and simple, there is going to be some. So with that said, let's kind of go on beyond that. Let's go ahead and get into the skin care. And um, I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask in the comments section. All right, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I like to do is take my hair out of my face. I'm going to go ahead and wrap that up. I try not to use too many ponytail um, holders because I know it can be a little bit hard on my hair so and on my scalp. The other thing I like to do is I have these little clips that I'll use um, to help pull the sides back. Helps keep that hair out of my face there. So I'll kind of show you here what I do. Anyway, so I gave up <laughs> and I still, yeah. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and wash my face. Right now I'm using what's called a Oil of Olay uh, Daily Facial Cleansing Cloth in Deep Purifying Clean. The, way, the reason why I like these so much is because um, if you get them wet, they are dry and you get them wet. So I wash really, really well. Um, I'm kind of speeding this up so you don't all have to wait while I'm doing it. <laughs> all right, the next thing I'm going to go, oh, yeah, as you can see, I tried to keep my face nice and wet. You can see I went into the bathroom wet and dry. I guess I, you know, I just wanted to give you guys an idea of <laughs> what I do. All right, the next thing I'm going to use is what's called a Neutrogena Microdermabrasion System. This is for exfoliating my skin, which I talked about earlier is super, super important. So what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to add this little pad to the exfoliator. You change them out each time you use them. And of course, I have to go and get them wet. I had to go to the bathroom, get them wet. That's my little sign that it's wet. I dry off my eyes because sometimes it can get into your eyes a little bit when you start going. I use the highest settings. Now there is two settings. I use the highest, see there's two settings. I use the highest setting. I have worked it myself up to it. I've been doing it for quite a few years now. And I will go ahead and do this at the highest setting for um, 10 minutes. I do do this three times a week. That's my 10 minutes, and I do do it three times a week. And I'm just going to go ahead, and it takes 10 minutes. We are not going to go through the whole 10 minutes. I'm just going to kind of give you an idea how I have to constantly keep it moving and rotating. And this is one of my favorite things. I'm going to pull out my phone, gives me something to do, set a timer. And this is not the most fun thing to do, but it's super duper important. Okay, you can tell I'm really over it. And toss it out. Uh, yeah, I'm not really going to leave it there. I'm going to toss it out. <laughs> All right, next thing I will do is I like to go ahead and add, um, I use 10% benzoyl peroxide uh, for my nose area. It can be really strong for a lot of people, but because I have such big pores, see if I can get a little closer so you guys can see them. I, you know, this lighting really doesn't help. I'm going to have to add some more pictures so you can see at some point. It, I mean, you can't really see them. There's a lot there. Trust me. Okay. Makes me sad. But what are you going to do? So with this, I do add a little bit of this um, uh, benzoyl peroxide, 10%. You also can get a 2% that's available if it's a little too strong. 
I apply this to my nose area, specifically to that area, because that actually will help dry out any type of pores so I do not get blackheads. I'll add a little place others where I feel like I break out a little bit more. Okay, now one of my favorite things, I use a moisturizer. It's called by Shea Moisture. It's a 100% virgin coconut oil daily face lotion. All right, I apply it to just a few areas. That way uh, my whole skin doesn't need a lot, but you're welcome to add a lot. And this does not break out my skin. So you kind of see some of the places that I do like to add it. Pat that bad boy in. Be very careful about applying it around your eyes. The next thing I like to do is go ahead and use my aquifer. I use this actually around my eyes. It helps hold in the moisture. It's the healing ointment in advanced therapy for dry cracked skin. I don't have really cracked skin underneath there. I do happen to have dry and of course if there's any little extra I'm gonna go ahead and rub that on my lips. Might as well not, you know, might as well use it if it's there. All right. One of the last things then I do is I will use my handy dandy rapid lash. This is my favorite, favorite product. I would say out of most of them, I have now been using that, oh goodness, maybe nine years now. And it works wonderfully. Uh, this, you have to be very, very, very consistent when applying this as this is part of my nightly routine. And you, uh, I put it along my top lashes. It has like this little tiny brush and I use it on top of my lashes there. You know, try to be careful. Don't stick it in your eyes, but just along the lash line. Now, the other thing I like to do once I apply this, make sure it's, you know, well put through is blink them very hard. What that does is kind of bring it down to your bottom lashes to help let them grow as well. That's it, friends. That is pretty much what I do. Something feels off. And um, I'm, re you know, I think I just spit, but okay. I, mean, I, I don't think you can see that very well on the camera. So that's, that's what it is. Uh, where was I? Um, okay, wait. This is Amanda again from uh 40 plus and fantastic okay. and um I, today i just okay okay boom actually when i think about it there's actually only there's actually only three things that i really feel like are the most important so we're gonna do this over again okay so okay <clears throat> What is my problem? I don't know why it's so difficult to come up with this.